The PlayStation Store's Black Friday sale is officially underway. It actually kicked off yesterday. Unfortunately, I did not get to cover it. Had a bit of a family emergency, so I had to tend to that. But I still want to cover the sale for you guys, and hopefully I can give you guys some direction. Now, I didn't look at the sale in its entirety. I'm looking at it for the first time. But generally, what I am seeing is that a lot of these deals are quite good, but a lot of them also pale in comparison to the deals that you can get if you do go into the store. For example... Persona 5 Royal is $29.99. Excellent price for Persona 5 Royal if you were to just ask me. However, uh, Best Buy is going to have the physical version of that game for $19.99. So you, whether or not you want to weigh that, whether you're just a person that buys digitally, whatever the case may be, some of these deals just know are a little bit pricier. Some of them have complete parity with the uh, in-store deal, so that's nice. I see Watch Dogs Legion PS4 and PS5 edition, $40.19. Another one that's a little bit more expensive than the deals we're seeing at stores. Uh, this was actually 30 bucks on Best Buy the other day. Not a bad buy. Uh, I would say wait for it to get a little bit cheaper because, yes, it's a relatively recent release. I mean, it's a very recent release. But this is the kind of game that I feel like is going to rock it down in price relatively quickly, so I would hold on on that for just a little bit longer. The Last of Us Part Two, $30. I mean, if you've been waiting on it, that's a pretty good price for it. A lot of people have differing opinions on it, so it's not really one, you know, I can give my opinion on. It is what it is. Go play it if you do want to. NBA 2K21, $30. I know I've memed on NBA 2K21 like crazy, but the amount of my friends that just wanted to get a PlayStation 5 so they could play, as they call it, 2K. You boys want to jump on 2K tonight? Why do I always hear that in the group chat? However... There you go, $30 if you are looking to jump into 2K. Ghost of Tsushima is down to $40.19. Really good pickup for this. You guys might know that it's one of my favorite games of the year. Quite possibly, maybe my favorite game of the year. It is just excellent. If you have a PlayStation 5, it is enhanced even more on that console. 60 frames per second. I don't know if it's a locked, consistent 60. Um, but it plays really, really nicely. So if you have a PS5, great buy. If you don't have a PS5, great buy. It's a great game. I mean, I beat it on the regular PS4. But I think I'm going to jump back in and go for the Platinum once the game releases die down on the PlayStation 5. Final Fantasy VII Remake is down to $39.59. Pretty good price. This is going to be $30 in store. I think it's $25 at Target, so it is going to be quite a bit cheaper. I thought it was a great game. Probably another one of my top games of the year, so that definitely gives a recommendation if you are looking to pick that up. Marvel's Avengers is $30. I honestly think that's going to be cheaper in the not-too-distant future. Uh, Doom Eternal Standard Edition, $19.79. Quite a good buy there. Uh, strong recommendation. Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time, $38.99. I think there was actually a sale on the PlayStation Store for this not too long ago. Sometimes get uh, a little bit mixed up with all the deals going on, but... Uh, pretty good deal. I mean, it just came out, so not a bad buy. I believe one retailer is going to have this for $30 at Black Friday, so something to consider. MLB The Show 20 is down to $10. That's actually a pretty good deal. Pretty cheap for that, all things considered. Neo 2, $24.79. That's going to be $10 in a lot of spots. Marvel Spider-Man Game of the Year Edition, $20. No Man's Sky PS4 and PS5 Edition, $30. Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 is on sale for $30 as well. What else we got here? DBZ Kakarot, $24. Not a bad pickup there. I quite enjoyed DBZ Kakarot. Really good if you are a fan of Dragon Ball Z. Mafia Definitive Edition is $30. That's pretty good for that given that that just came out in September. Raccoon City Edition. This is $32. This gets you Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. Essentially $16 a pop for those games. Not that bad given that I believe the cheapest for those are $15 a pop at Best Buy. So relatively close in price points. And Resident Evil 3 being this cheap this quickly, I mean, it's still what? Like seven months old? It's not that old at all. So for $32, I think that's a pretty good buy. God of War, $10. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered, $30. Wait for that to get a little bit cheaper. 20 or less and that's a good pickup. Ghost Runner, which is a very new release, that's $22.49, that's actually a pretty good pickup given that it just came out. Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition, $16, it's Skyrim, it's pretty good. Final Fantasy XIV Online Complete Edition, $30. Really good for all the content you get there. FF14 is one of the best MMOs on the market. That's a ton of content. Square Enix has been supporting it quite a bit. Another expansion is probably going to be, you know, announced in the not-too-distant future. So that's something to look forward to. Fallout 76, 1319. You guys know how much I love that game. Game of the year 2018. Let's get this bread, brother. The Last of Us Remastered, 999. 50% off. That's really good. I love Last of Us 1. I thought it was a fantastic game. I was memeing about Fallout 76, by the way. I feel like I have to reiterate that sometimes. Uncharted 4, 999. Uncharted 4 to me 
might be the most underrated PlayStation 4 exclusive of the generation, and I know, it's Uncharted 4. I feel like everybody really enjoyed it. However, when you talk about PS4 exclusives right now, um, generally speaking, people talk about God of War Horizon as well as um, Ghost of Tsushima. Maybe that's because it's newer Marvel Spider-Man. I feel like those are the four pillar uh, PS4 exclusives, and I don't know if it's because the rhetoric on Naughty Dog has been a little bit negative recently. At least with some people not enjoying The Last of Us Part 2. However, I thought Uncharted 4 was a great game. There's some elements uh, that I wasn't completely a fan of, but I thought from a pacing standpoint, from a visual standpoint, story stand uh, standpoint, the introduction of Sam, I thought there was a lot of good stuff in Uncharted 4 and 10 bucks for that is quite good. Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition, $15. Pick it up. It's great. It's going to get a PS5 update in 2021, so it's going to be awesome on PS5. If we can get that game 4K60 on PS5, oh boy, that's going to be real nice. Far Cry 5, $15. Pretty good. Outer Worlds, 60% uh, off for $24. Not the worst deal in the world. Uh, 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim. 30% off for $42. This is a Vanillaware title, a little bit different than their typical titles. However, uh, still employs the great art style. So if you're a fan of the Vanillaware look, that's going to be something you'll want to check out. Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Standard Edition, $28, bucks, which that was a little bit cheaper. Control Ultimate Edition, 50% off for $20. I believe this is going to be the version that gets upgraded into the PlayStation 5 version sometime down the line. This gets you the base game and the expansion. I really dug Control. I thought it was fantastic. I wish if you had the base game, they would just give you the upgrade anyway. I think it's kind of whack how they're handling that. But $20 for that, I think, is relatively decent. Mafia Trilogy, $45. Kind of pricey there. Destroy All Humans, $28. Again, a little bit pricey. Uh, what else we got? Kingdom Hearts All-in-One Package is $30. That's a great price. It is going to be $20 at Walmart, uh, but that's a lot of content for your money. Uh, you got Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5, 2.8, and Kingdom Hearts 3. All you're missing is the Remind DLC that isn't very good. $30 for that is a sick deal. Dreams is 50% off for $20. That's really good. I would say give that a look. If you're a fan of Media Molecule, you know what you're getting out of that. Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning, $26, 35% off, another pretty good buy. Uh, I didn't see that going on sale at a bunch of other uh, retailers' Black Friday ads, but that could be something thrown in in one of the Best Buy ads or something of that nature. Kingdom Hearts 3 is $18, so it's only $12 cheaper than the All-in-One Collection. Yeah, so All-in-One Collection, definitely the ideal buy. Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown, 1979. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, $15. Devil May Cry 5, $20. Uh... Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 is $20. Yeah, all-in-one is such a good value. It's not even funny. Crisis Remastered 1949. A lot of people were not high on that remaster at all. Greedfall is 15 bucks. I would say that's pretty good. Greedfall is one of those games that's not a perfect RPG, but I thought Spiders did a pretty good job with it, and I definitely think it's their best game thus far. Excited to see where they go from here, because if they show this incremental improvement upon every game that they do, man, two to three games down the line, they're going to be making like world-class RPGs at this point, because they've been getting better and better. Plague Tale Innocent, 70% off for $15. I really dug that game, and I've been recommending it for quite a while. Would strongly, strongly give that a go if you have not played that. Darksiders Genesis is down to $16. That's one of the sneaky good deals. I don't think that's going to get a lot of shine, but that's a sneaky good deal there. Uh, that's been relatively high in price for quite a while, so good to see it going a little bit lower for this sale. So there's a ton of deals. Tales of Berseria, $10. Bucks. Bayonetta and Vanquish, 10th anniversary bundle for $20. Okay, you guys get the idea. A ton of deals. Look at it for yourself, and I will do a rundown of some of the best deals. This is definitely one of the biggest sales that we've seen all year. Uh, I do expect there to be a holiday sale in December. Might be early December, might be later in December. I'm not exactly sure when it's going to kick off, but that's going to follow just a few weeks after this. Mega Man Zero ZX Legacy Collection 1949. I keep seeing really good deals as I'm scrolling down and down. Uh, but that's going to wrap up this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Again, my apologies. I didn't get this out yesterday, but we'll cover it in depth as you guys know. So that's going to wrap up this one. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.